thank you all for coming. And uh, thank you for the NAACP for holding this event. Special thank you to Phyllis Ellis for inviting us all. And again, thank you all for coming here. OK. My name is Alex Cosmitis. Um, you'll see me on the ballot as Alexandros, but you can call me Alex. Um, I'm a local business owner. I own Heidi's Place. You guys might know it as the building that's gotten hit six times. But uh, I was born in Dorchester um, to two Greek immigrant parents who came from Greece, obviously. They moved to Brockton in 1991, um, basically to get out of Boston, all the heavy traffic and all that stuff, and live a quieter life, better life, better schools, and all that stuff. And uh, I went to Brockton, I, well, I'll start. I went to Hancock School, went to West Junior High, and I graduated from Brockton High. And uh, when I was a kid in Brockton High, I worked at Brockton Cafe for many years, which I met a few of you there over the years. And uh, that's where I became, like, where I learned I wanted to be a chef. So over the years, I've trained and became a chef, and now I own my own restaurant with my mother, Maggie, who many of you also know as Heidi sometimes. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I have a question. Is Brockton a good city? Yes. Is it a great city? Yes. Can it be better? Yes. That's why we're all here. Yes. We want to make it better. All right. Uh, a candidate earlier mentioned bringing in more businesses, which I would love to see. I would love to see more mom and pop restaurants, um, small businesses open up on Main Street, which every day there's new businesses, little tiny restaurants, great ones. Um, just next door near me is a, a nice little hole in the wall, Buena Vista. Great place. Shall to try it. But um, we should start looking at all the older buildings, the abandoned buildings that are there, developing them bringing in just way more revenue. But the one thing is, um, recently in the news, there was a study on MassDOT. Instead, traffic is horrendous in the state, and in particular, Route 27 to Brockton, one of the worst areas for traffic. And that is actually causing people not to go out to other businesses and travel because they don't want to get stuck in traffic. So we need to look at that. We need to get the traffic commission to do some stuff, city council to figure out what we can do to you know, stop the speeding in the city, stop everything, um, all the drivers that need to start paying attention to where they're going. Obviously, my business has been hit six times, so I'm a little passionate about that. But also, um, we need to start looking to bring in other revenue, like the marijuana, the cannabis, and all that stuff. We need the social equity licenses. They are approved by the state. Um, in Good Health is giving 1.5% of their profit back to the city. If they get their recreational license, they'll give 3%. And they make $25 million a year now in profit. If they go recreational, they'll double and triple their profit. And that 3% will come back to the city. So I'm hoping for some stuff like that. And obviously, that will help with the opiate addiction and all that stuff, with the overdosing. Like, I work in High Point, and I've seen what happened recently. And we need, as a city, to take care of our citizens who are struggling. And uh, thank you very much. Vote for me for September 17th. I'd like to hear it. Thank you very much.